another tip for you um, before we get into that is that these characters I do believe are 3000 by 3000 pixels which is pretty big if you think about it you know um, high definition you know still for a lot of people is 1080 I know obviously it's more like over 3000 for 4k um, but these puppets the videos are going out at 1080 however um, even though the videos are going out at 1080 we can't render these puppets out at 1080 because when we get later on we do want close-ups so we need the characters to be larger so that when we do the close-up you know the quality remains so as I was saying our puppets are size um, pretty large um, but if a puppet is very large and it's got lots of layers and this goes back to what I said at the start it can cause a lag but there are ways around it now for example um, both of these puppets are big both of these puppets have got lots of um, expressions and additional triggers so what I would first do is I would um, turn off the one character And then if we click on the scene, so here is episode 32. This scene is, um, you know, almost 4,000 by 2,500 picks. It's very big and depending on the power of your computer, it might get really laggy. Um, my particular system runs it fine. Sometimes though, even on mine, it can get a bit slow. So what I do is I, um, I resize it. I drop it down to, you know, as little as, um, 1280 by 720 then I would resize the puppet down I'll do all my animation and then before I render it out I would resize it back up to the full size and all that means is that when you are animating it that lag isn't there it, you know it, it performs a lot better so that is an important tip um, that I would recommend. Yeah. 